Hey friends, I don't usually cover personal finance topics, but I need to give a really quick rant on this. I don't use personal payment apps like Cash App, Venmo, Zelly, Zelly, I don't know how you say it, but I don't use these. The reason I don't use these is I have a business and I make personal sales. If I sell something personally, I'm taking a loss. If I'm selling it through business, it goes into the business account and gets accounted for properly. I take cash, check, credit cards directly, and I can also do PayPal. That's four things, four different ways. If someone can't be here physically, they can send it through PayPal. But if I'm selling a couch, and I have a couch over here I'm selling for $200, right? And I paid more than that for the couch. If I don't have the original receipt and the proof that I sold it for $200 to show that I sold it at a loss, that I didn't make money, then the IRS, if they come along and they audit me and they look at my little Venmo, Cash App, Zelly transaction log, there's an electronic record that I got $200 from a person. That will be counted as income and I will be forced to pay taxes on the $200 that I didn't earn. The money that I didn't actually make any money on. So no, I won't use a personal payment app because I don't want to have to explain to the IRS that my couch cost X, Y, or Z and then I sold it for a lower amount of money. I don't want to rely on the fact that a receipt from a couch that I've had for God knows how many years that I've certainly lost by now and may not have gotten a receipt at all if I bought it for cash from someone else, I don't want to have to explain that. Because guess what? If they don't like my explanation, they'll be like, nope, sorry bud, you gotta give us 40 bucks out of that 200. Well now I've paid $40 for the privilege of using that stupid electronic payment app. Oh, it's so convenient, but except it's not. If you're physically meeting up, you can do cash. Now I understand that maybe if you're in a high risk area, it might be a little safer. Perhaps you have other motivations that make it make sense for you to use these. But someone coming here to buy my couch, to bringing $200, I mean, I'm not exactly gonna run off. Um, I've got a business thing on the front. It, it's not exactly a dangerous location for them to go to, so that argument's right out of the water. I'm just really tired of running into this assumption that people have these personal payment apps all the frickin' time. I don't have any interest in using them and I don't want to use them. I don't want to create more electronic records for some stupid government overlord to be able to tap into to make my life more difficult if they decide that they have an itchy butthole and they want to goof off and mess with someone today. And that someone just happens to be me. The dice just happen to land on my frickin' head. No, I don't want to even have that risk in the future. So I just don't create the electronic records record. If I'm selling you a personal item, I'm definitely losing money on it, and I'm definitely getting paid in cash. Otherwise, no sale. No, I won't use personal payment apps. Yes, I understand it's more convenient for you for some reason because you can't go to the ATM and take out $200 really quickly. Them's the ropes, boss. Sorry. That's my rant. I hope this has been informative. Oh, sorry, I look really ugly because I shaved. Yep, I gotta stop doing that. Have a wonderful day. Take care. Like, comment, subscribe, jodybruchon.com. Down there, there's links in the description. Have a good one.